Hi and welcome to Inside of Blackpool. In this video, following the closure of some high profile shops in the uh, town centre, we've decided to have a walk around the town centre and share with you some of our memories of the shops from a bygone age um, and also some of the clubs and pubs that, um, that we pass along the way. We'll start our journey um, for this video on Albert Road, um, just by the old location of Argos. From there we'll um, move towards the sea and uh, travel down the back of the tower, all the way along to where the old BHS used to be, um, taking a right up Burley Street before um, doubling back on ourselves round the side of the Winter Gardens and then down by the side of the Hounds Hill. That seems pretty standard with any uh, YouTube video nowadays. Um, if you enjoy this video um, or like any of our content, then please give this video a like, uh, follow us, uh, subscribe, um, and comment on the videos. Your support is obviously very much appreciated. So without further ado, let's begin our journey. This is uh, Albert Road. So our first clothes shop which used to be almost a standing feature in in Blackpool. Uh, growing up, you'd never imagine um, Argus was clo would close down. Um, but unfortunately, yep, a few years ago, it moved up to the new Sainsbury's, which is at um, the end of Talbot Road, part of the new Talbot Gateway complex, just near the old bus station. Next door to Argos, Pound Stretcher, that's also closed. Um, again, can remember as a kid, there always been some kind of um, bargain price store there, but um, just recently this uh, pound stretcher closed down, which won't, to be honest, be massively missed because we've got a, got a few around the around the town centre. Um, so if you if you need to get your pound items, then you can definitely find somewhere else. So travelling around the corner, just past the uh, McDonald's, um, we go past Bon Marche, which. Um, was closing down, but recently I believe the chain's been been bought out, so that may get a reprieve as yet. Moving further along, uh, this is Bank A Street, um, TK Max. This is one of the more popular stores in the, the town centre. Those of you um, who have visited Blackpool for years or lived here will remember CNA used to be located in this uh, in this particular store. Diagonally across from TK Maxx, sort of the old CNA, is the um, the old Woolworths building, which is currently undergoing a uh, restoration. Now, all the time this building has housed various shops and nightclubs. Um, I think the most famous one that sticks in most people's mind is Price Buster. It used to be on two floors, uh, both the ground floor and the basement. But it also used to um, house two clubs. There was Heaven and Hell, those you remember that. Then before that, there was, I think, Macy's and Addison's or Madison, Madison Avenue, I think it was. Right now, uh, it has a Weatherspoons out of front, a uh, pound land or pound stretcher type uh, store, and also um, Sports Direct uh, upstairs. Moving further along. Bank A Street, um, we have to the left of us um, the new Harry Ransoms that used to be uh, the Tower Lounge, and on our right we have the Blackpool Comedy Club and um, Boots. It was only recently announced that the the KFC that's been in the, the centre for a number of years now that's that's closed down due to the pandemic, uh, etc. Which is uh, sad to see it go. To be honest, um, that this is straight under the tower, so it should really be prime um, retail units um, so it's sad to see these these empty not being snapped up instantly as we would do in, in other cities and moving yet further along to the left um, a building that used to house Woolworths again actually um, and across the road from that another empty unit that did have uh, Goldsmith for jewellers in Health Rack that's now closed down that used to be um, Thornton's and then to our left uh, a parade of empty units, um, or at least sporadically full, um, that used to house things like uh, warehouse, um, our price, etc. And this one on our right is the recently closed W. H. Smith. Now this has caused quite a stir in town because it also housed the post office, 
So right now in the centre of town there's no uh, post office. Although there's one that's I don't know, five, ten minutes walk down Central Drive. So not that far away. Next to the Great Smith, an another empty unit. Uh, this was most recently, we think, uh, Blue Ink. Um, but before that we had um, River Island. And as I mentioned, because of the close proximity to the tower, this used to really be um, prime retail units with Wallace, Miss Selfridge, Warehouse, um, R. Price and Foster's uh, just to the left on the corner. Um, all these have now moved on or, or gone bust or gone online. So crossing over what we think must be Church Street, although it may be the same road uh, curling around. We're now on Market Street um, and this is where um, it used to be quite lively on, a, on an evening with Brannigan's um, on your left, which is now Revolution. And across the road, we had uh, the old BHS, which is now um, a B&M's, but still with a, a lot of space in the building uh, to fill. The B&M's hasn't taken up all of it by any stretch of imagination. The building as a whole also hosts um, Blackpool Transport offices. Um, there's also the jewellers um, just around the corner that will pass in a, in a couple of minutes. And also a, a takeaway type building. A across on our left there, um, that was the, the Leighton Vakes, that's a Weatherspoons pub. Just to help you get your bearings slightly if you're, if you're not familiar. And right now we're just uh, passing the, the entrance to the Market Street car park. Um, the top of there used to be fantastic for watching the, the fireworks which um, are on most Septembers obviously, no, not last year due to the pandemic and lockdown etc. But yeah you get a pretty good view from the top of there. And straight ahead we go on to Burley Street. Um, if you wonder what the, the giant metal arches are, they're, they're brilliant. A, a light display and, uh, and music which can look pretty good um, to be honest. Now, Burley Street used to be quite a, quite a bustling part of town. Um, it housed a number of um, number of banks and building societies, uh, along with a number of cafes. Now, cafe culture down here has has grown um, quite a bit, um, but a few of the banks have closed down. So there we pass Thomas Cook. That's uh, another casualty um, of recent years. And then further along, we're heading towards where the old uh, HSBC was uh, that's that's now closed closed down and to let along with other various shops all, all down here it may be worth pointing out that there is some pretty good cafes down here our, our particular favorite is a uh, compass which is uh, just on on our left right now and next door to it that used to be skipton building society that again was there for there for years um, but like a lot of the financial institutions now, um, they're, they're moving off the high street and um, reducing their footprint. And further along on our right um, is a tap room um, that only opened uh, a couple of years ago. It didn't seem to um, be open very long. Uh, it didn't really get that much uh, of a following to be honest before it, it closed down. It would have been nice to uh, see it given a a bit longer um, to establish itself but unfortunately probably due to the pandemic um, they've had to shut up shop as well. Down the road um, we're hitting the um, Winter Gardens and St John's Square. To our left is the West Coast Rock Cafe which is a, a very good one um, for families or couples if, you, um, if you're ever in town. And most recent casualty of the restaurant trade is Pizza Express. Now this one apparently did not close down due to financial considerations, although they are closing down a lot of branches across um, the country. This one is actually being turned into, into flats and that's uh, that's been in plan for, for quite a while now, as I understand. Before um, Pizza Express moved in there, we used to be in Next, I think. You'd have thought, given the, the location that close to the Winter Gardens, uh, it, it'd do an absolute bomb of trade. But um, it was busy at times, but, but quite a lot of the time. Um, moving further down um, Church Street, we have the Chinese Chinese buffet. 
Uh, now that one is closed down, but we don't think due to the, the pandemic, um, it didn't do that well on some of the, the recent health and hygiene um, inspections that the council do, which I think uh, impacted trade quite quite significantly, which which is a shame because we, we used to actually quite like like going there, um, but also Mr. Bowser is at the other side of town. That's um, that's probably taken a crown in terms of a uh, buffet style eating. So carrying on around the corner from the Chinese buffet, we're on Coronation Street. This is the back of the, uh, the, the Winter Gardens. Not many shops around um, around uh, at this point, but we are heading on to what used to be um, one of the main main shopping drags in uh, in the town. This is uh, Victoria Street. At the top of Victoria Street, there's not um, not that many shops. There's a Bella Pasta, the only one left in town as far as we as far as we know. Um, and at the other side of the street, there's uh, the back of uh, Marks and Spencer's. Obviously, Marks and Spencer's now being one of the big main uh, names in the town. And long may it continue. As if we lost um, Marks and Spencer's, then the only big names left in town will be the, the world famous Primark and uh, a new look in the Hounslow. This is obviously the uh, the side of the Hounslow, which uh, has recently lost uh, its Debenham store. So at the top end of uh, Victoria Street, nearest to the Winter Gardens, there's a lot of empty shops. We, thinking back, we can't really um, remember there being any established shops being there for uh, much longer than you know a year or so. A lot of the units tend to um, house the pop-up kind of kind of stores or seasonal um, shops, which is particularly bad to see, given it's uh, it's Blackpool's main shopping centre, bang in the the bang in the town centre, the Hounds Hill. The only shops we really remember along the side of Victoria Street um, in the Hounds Hill was um, Burton's Menswear. That was just at the entrance, and at the other side um, of the entrance was also a Disney store. Uh, the Disney store has long since uh, moved into the uh, into the Hounds Hill centre, mm. and is, as you'd imagine, very popular with children. So crossing to the other side of Victoria Street, um, a few empty units. Uh, they used to house uh, a number of different phone shops on this side of the uh, of the road, and also uh, we remember the body shop uh, that was uh, down the bottom end. And what we're passing now, uh, that was uh, Top Shop and Top Man, part of the Arcadia Group. They've obviously um, recently demised and been bought out by. Um, online brands we think was um, either Boohoo or ASOS uh, one over we think one of them bought Debenhams um, the other one bought the Arcadia um, brands of Topman and um, and Topshop and Miss Elfridge actually then moving uh, round the corner onto the last street of this tour um, Corporation Street um, over to our right is um, Heinz which is uh, a jewellery shop now that, that used to be the, the HSBC and moving along the road just uh, this is just behind um, the Grand Theatre we used to have um, shops such as uh, Athena um, if you remember that one that one used to sell uh, lots of posters and uh, things like that um, game has closed down now and that's moved uh, I think to the Woolworths building and one of the new arrivals and ever popular on the corner here we have the world famous Nando's And that concludes our little tour of, um, of Blackpool and its closed shops and we want to share with you some of our, our memories. Obviously, if you have enjoyed this, then please give us a like, subscribe, etc, etc. Thank you for watching.